my absolute favorite drugstore makeup. I would just be teasing you and I would just be teasing myself. Baby girl, I got you. You guys know I am a big, big, big advocate for if you got it and if you want it, get it, treat yourself. I'm a big treat yourself girl. Having a bad day, treat, treat yourself. yourself. Having a good day, treat, treat yourself. yourself. Having a meh day, absolutely treat, treat yourself. yourself. Those are the most important treat yourself moments. So all in all, treat, treat yourself. yourself. But I have a bunch of products in front of me. I have e.l.f., I have NYX, I have CoverGirl. I have a ton of CoverGirl actually. I have Essence. I have all affordable stuff in front of me and I'm so excited to share with you guys my absolute favorite drugstore makeup. And I'm so excited because I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, I'm a single mom. I don't have the money for Sephora. I don't have the money for that side of Ulta. I don't have the money to spend and splurge. And I just want the bang for my buck. This video is for you, baby girl. I got you. I got you like you wouldn't believe. When priming, there are a couple of primers that I really, really, really love. And they're not technically primers. There's a lot of primers in the drugstore that are great. Don't get me wrong. But these are the ones that I have been loving that I actually prime with because they also are skincare. And I love to prime with skincare because I love the layer that I put in between my foundation and my skin to be nourishing to my skin, but also tacky enough for the foundation. So I actually like to mix these two. This one is the I Do Care Bright Setup Brightening Vitamin C Serum. I super love this guy. It's one of my absolute favorite vitamin C serums, but I love it as a primer. Hear me out here. I think it's a dupe for the Tower 28 primer, or actually I think that's actually a serum. I think I might have that. But like I was saying, I think this is a dupe for it because it's super brightening. And once it dries into your skin, this gets very tacky. But I like to mix it with my vegan collagen serum complex from Pacifica. Pacifica you can find at Ulta in the like affordable side and you can also find them at Target. And I love me some Pacifica. Once you mix these two, it is literally a dream. Your skin feels so smooth, so hydrated. You feel like you put good stuff on it. So you already feel like you have like a great base. But then I go in with a setting spray. You guys know me. I'm going to use the Flower Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray. I use this to prime because I do get oily. So I'm going to apply this basically just on my T-zone because I feel like it gives like a nice little like balance. My favorite brow pencil, this right here is my favorite brow pencil of all time. I love this brow pencil so much. This is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I would use it right now, but I don't have any. Like that's how much I have left guys. And that's basically that I would just be teasing you and I would just be teasing myself. But this is my favorite brow pencil. We love her, but I'm out. However, I do like the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. It's great. It's a really good brow pencil, but my favorite drugstore brow pencil is by Winky Lux. And it's this guy right here. It's the Winky Lux Unibrow. This has always been my absolute favorite go-to. We literally love her, but I have been also obsessed and you guys have seen me actually like continuously use this. The Catrice Brow Shaping Wax. This is so affordable. It's Catrice. It's at maybe $5 if that. The e.l.f. Brow Lift is also very good and it is a dupe for the Anastasia. However, I, there's something about the Catrice one that I just have been liking a lot more. So I'm going to be using the Catrice one, but I am going to be using my e.l.f. Brow Lift applicator to apply it. This is really cool. I actually just opened a new one because I lost the one that I got in PR. So I went ahead and bought this one the other day thinking that I already had the brow pencil, but this is how I do my brows, guys. You guys, I'm very messy. I like to like really saturate my entire brow and that's why I'll even comb my brow in like the opposite direction and then back again just to make sure I really saturate the hair and then I really go for it and brush my brow the way I want it to be like brushed and laid and slayed. And this is what my brows are looking like. As you can see, my brows are very sparse. There's a lot of gaps in between them. It's not my favorite thing. This is when I go in and kind of just fill in the sparseness with my brow pencil. So I'm going to use probably the e.l.f. one because the e.l.f. one is a lot thicker when I don't use a brow wax. I always use my Winky Lux, guys. I'm obsessed with it. Like, I love it so much. But I'm not gonna lie, the e.l.f. one is also very good too. So I'm just going to fill in the sparse brows and do the thing. I went ahead and just cleaned up my brows. I always, always, always use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I use it in the shade Classic Ivory because I like my brow bone to be like a lot lighter. So now we can move on to foundation because I feel like we're like tacky enough. My favorite foundation at the moment from the drugstore has 
wristband, the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible. I used to be obsessed with the matte one, but that was back in like my early 20s when I was a lot more oilier. And now that I feel like I have my oils under control, I do not lean towards really mattifying foundations because I feel like they're just not good for me in the long run. And now that I'm getting older, I'm like more focused on like my skin health. So I opt for the Pro Glow, but I will say that you do have to still prime very well, which I did and set very well, which I'll show you because I do still get oily. But I love this foundation because it's not too glowy. It gives you like a healthy finish, but if you don't set it properly, then it does get like pretty dangerous for us oily girls. However, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible and probably finish it off you guys because I'm not going to lie. I've used this foundation so much. I am at the end of it and I like to apply this with a brush first and I just kind of stipple it on because again, I like to work in very thin layers with glowy foundations. So I really like to thin it out with a brush and just really kind of paint it on my skin. Make sure that it's it's nice and even. Once I feel like I've like really painted it on, I grab whatever excess is on the back of my hand and then I go in with a damp beauty sponge. This one is the Real Techniques one. By the way, I wanted to use an affordable one as well, just to give you guys, you know, affordable options for these little sponges. These are the best, I feel. Also, Wet n Wild is really good. Like I love Wet n Wild's a sponge and Elf sponge as well. But the Real Techniques, this is like the OG. I don't know what this combination does to your skin, but it definitely leaves you flawless and it just looks so good. And as always, I like to drag it on to my neck. The Utes. Beauts, 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 Beauts. For contour and cream bronzing, I love the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I also honorable mention want to give a shout out to the NYX Wonder Stick. I don't know where mine is, but I'm obsessed with it. I use the light medium shade. It is so good. I love it. It's like easy to apply. However, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I love the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer so much. I use, it doesn't say the shade on it, but again, this is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I'm pretty obsessed with this bronzer. Bronzer. It's so, so natural and so easy to apply. I basically apply this in the outer areas of my face and you guys can already see it's already giving me like a sun-kissed look. And the reason I love this bronzer so much is because I think it's the perfect balance of sculpting but also I look bronze. I look touched by this. I look skimmed from the sun. You know what I mean? Like you could tell like this is a bronzer, but it also gives your face a lot of definition and a lot of shape. And I love when bronzers can do both that because I, I know I'm tan already, but I love looking like sun-kissed and bronzy and just like not burnt, but you know what I mean. I'm going to move on to eyes really, really, really quickly. My favorite eyeshadows lately. I have been obsessed with the CoverGirl Clean Color Eyeshadows. I like, I love these. These are so good. The mattes are phenomenal. The shimmers are out of this world. I'm gonna do just like a very quick eye look for you guys, something that I would do on a regular day basis. And that's basically where I throw these shades into my crease and I'm gonna buff them out really nicely because that's what I do with my like transitional brown shades. Also, I have the cream bronzer that I do wanna set. So I like to mix in those mattes and then the shimmers pop them on the eyelid. I'm telling you, it's like the easiest easiest eyeshadow look that'll make you look so put together and like you actually try it. It's magic. It's like literally magic. I'm telling you like the eyeshadow is just like, it's bomb. Like I just, I really, really, really like it. And I use my CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus eyeliner to do like my little eyeliner wing. I haven't been like the biggest fan of liquid eyeliner in like the past, I would say month or so. So I just always either up for eyeshadow, but I've been loving the CoverGirl eyeliners to do my eyeliner with. Like I'm obsessed with these. However, if you are a true liquid eyeliner girl, my favorite is the Essence 24 Ever Ink Liner in Intense Black. This dries matte, it lasts forever and like the point is so easy to use like i'm obsessed with this and whenever i do decide to do like eyeliner for like night looks i offer this guy now we can actually move on to like the rest of the complexion which i'm very excited about for concealer my favorite concealers at the moment have been in between the covergirl true blend i already talked about that how i use it for not only like cleaning up my brows but like i prime my eyes with this and i also do use it on my complexion but i also really do like the catrice 18 hour hydrating high coverage concealers like these are some of my favorite I like the shade warm beige because I like the coverage. So I'm going to show you guys how I like mix them. But then I go in with the CoverGirl True Blend because I also like the color. But I like the shade a lot more. So I like to blend it out. 
Now, this is one of my favorite parts, and this is one of my favorite products that I have discovered. This is the e.l.f. Eye Brighter Color Corrector in the shade Yellow, and this is so ridiculously brightening, and you guys know I love, like, a bright under eye, but I love brightening the rest of my face as well because it's all about the balance. Like, if you put it one place, you have to put it in the other, and I do like to mix it in still with my concealer from CoverGirl because, like, right here and stuff, I don't want it to look, like, too bright. You guys know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about the balance, guys. And then go in with my damp beauty sponge. And then I just blend it out. Blend her out a roux. And look how like so much brighter and like even and just contour defined your face looks. And again, I can't get over how brightening. And I don't know if you guys noticed how little of a dot we used, but this goes such a long way. I will say because the CoverGirl and the e.l.f. one actually like they do dry pretty matte. It creases a little bit, but honestly it doesn't crease that much. One of the reasons why I love it, I immediately go in and set it. However, with this Can't Stop Won't Stop powder by Nick. This is in the shade Fair and look at it. I don't know if the camera's picking up just how yellow it is, but when you buy it, you guys, this is a yellow powder. Like, I don't know whose foundation shade this is. It's definitely not mine. I do not know. So what I like to do is I like to go in with kind of like a pointed fluffy brush and I set under my eyes with this brightening powder. And as you can see, that adds so much more brightness and it's so, so, so pretty. I highly recommend this powder for anybody looking for brightening under eye powders in the drugstore. And I'll lightly go in and bake. You don't have to do this unless you have oily skin. But I do like to go in and bake. And my favorite powder to bake with is the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Powder. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video of like this side, drugstore, this side, the thing that it's duping. Because this is the closest I have found to a Laura Mercier translucent powder dupe. It is so ridiculously good. And I like to also kind of clean up my nose with this powder. And I like to bake around my nose because that's where I get the most oiliest with this powder. I also like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Powder and the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. But right now there's something about this CoverGirl one that has like a choke hold on me, guys. I'm obsessed with it. Like I love it so much. And I don't let it sit for long. Absolutely not, ma'am. I basically like wipe it off right away. And then I set the rest of my face with all the powder that's kind of lingering because if I were to leave this powder on so long after the True Blend CoverGirl concealer and just like the powder that we already kind of set with you guys, my face would look and feel so dry afterwards. And I don't like that. I want my face to still look, you know, healthy, glowy, natural. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and set down all this powder really quick because it was a lot. I like to use my CoverGirl Priming Glow Mist. This has eight hour hydration. It has rose water, has vitamin C. It's not the most mattifying spray, but that's okay because we've already used a lot of mattifying products. I more so just want like all the powders to kind of melt into my skin and for my skin to not look so powdery. And then we're gonna go in with our mascara. For mascara, I really didn't have like a question about it. It was 100% gonna be the Telescopic Lift by L'Oreal and the Maybelline Surreal Falsies. I'm gonna do the Surreal Falsies on one lash and the Telescopic on another lash because I do feel like these mascaras are beautiful. Like they're actually stunning. But I do feel like they bring something different to the table. Like the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift, it definitely gives you like length and definition. Whereas so the Falsies gives you like such gorgeous just volume. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide because I couldn't decide for a favorite. So I decided to just give you guys both options. You guys see that? I don't really feel like you can tell a difference. I definitely know that like this mascara, there's definitely a lot more volume. There's definitely a lot more like full lash action, whereas opposed to this side, there is just a lot of length and a lot of definition. Here, I feel like I get it kind of all, like a little bit of length, a lot of volume, a lot of definition. Like I just really like this mascara a lot, but this one is cute too. So I just wanted to give you guys those options because I really like both of them. I also do like the Essence. Again, Falsy Surreal by Maybelline and L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. We love her. Like we love her. I know I already kind of basically set my brows, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it again just for the sake of like showing you guys if you guys aren't into brow waxes, but you guys still love brow gels. The Fix It Like a Boss Transparent Brow Gel by Essence is one of my favorites. I have two of these. I like keep it in my car too, just whenever my brow hairs need a little bit of a fluffing 
up. I love the spoolie and I really like the formula as well. It definitely keeps like your brows under control and it's great. Very transparent. For blush, I had a hard time picking the blush because I'm not gonna lie guys, I have a lot of favorite blushes right now, but none of them are really drugstore. I do like some of the e.l.f. putty blushes, but I'm not gonna lie, they're not my favorite. However, the Pacifica fluffy blushes have been like a go-to. I also really like the ones from Persona, but the Pacifica ones are something so special and so, 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 so beautiful. My favorite one right now is Sunset. And I'm gonna show you guys what Sunset looks like on the face. It's so gorgeous. It's so stunning. So you guys, the Pacifica is like stunning. Like it's so, 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 so stunning. I wish it had like a bigger hole so I can really get my brush in there. But honestly guys, it's fine. I like to warm up the product in the back of my hand and then I'll go in and stipple it on. I mean, look at that color. The formula is really soft, bouncy, matte, cushiony. It definitely gives your face like a bouncy, like colorful cheek filter, like very blurred, very, very just a beautifying blush. I think that's why I love it so much because it kind of blurs your skin. Like it's so soft, so matte. It's just such a pretty color too. I have a couple colors that I like, but Sunset is like my favorite summer color right now for sure. And it blends out really easily. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like that is such a dream. It is so ridiculously pretty. I like to bring it all the way in, especially like where my areas are like more porous because again, I feel like it blurs and it just sits really pretty on the skin. You know, guys, the whole nine. I do this a lot. I love, 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 love blush. Another blush I love, and this is for like my baked blush girlies, my girlies that are still afraid of cream blushes. I don't know why. This is from Essence and this is the Pretty Peach one. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna use this kind of just like a blush topper over here, guys, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like. She's very pigmented. I want that to be known. I want that to be said. Don't say I didn't warn you. And she's definitely giving dupe for NARS orgasm 100%. Look at that and tell me it's a pink blush, a true pink with a rose gold and gold undertones. Stunning. And then for highlight, my favorite highlight at the moment at the drugstore is by JCAT and it is the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter in a Solstice Sunbeam. Let me swatch it for you. Look at that. Look at that shift. It is ridiculously pretty, but just wait until you see it on the skin. Because on the skin, this is no joke. I picked this up at Ulta, but you can also pick it up on Amazon. I know I also have bought a few on Amazon. Do you see that? Look how stunning that is. This highlighter is also super nostalgic for me because I used to sell it at a boutique I used to work at. I remember being obsessed with the formula and they still have stayed true to the formula itself. Very pretty formula. I highly, highly recommend it. I think the only thing we have left is lips. For lips, my favorite favorite lip liner from the drugstore at the moment is this all natural Milani color statement lip liner. I try other lip liners. I love the lip liners from Bare Minerals. Bare to Common is one of my favorites, but All Natural by Milani. This is one of my favorite lip liners ever. I love that it's wooden, even though like it's, it's kind of annoying that I have to sharpen it, but I love, love the formulation of this lip liner formula. It's so good. And the color is stunning. Honorable mention to Essence Rosy Nude. I really do like this. This is the Essence 8 Hour Matte Lip Liner. One of the best lip liners also ever. Still gonna go with Milani though, because I just, I love this formula. It feels so luxe and high quality. It feels like almost better than a MAC lip liner. Four lips. I have a couple of favorites that I, I really, really, really love. And I will say while lipsticks are not my favorite thing to buy at the drugstore, like I'm going to be honest with you. I think that's where I'm like, I'd rather shop indie. Lunar Beauty has great lipsticks, like actual lipstick bullets. Jeffree Star has great lipstick bullets. What I'm trying to get at is I feel like the drugstore is the one place where I'm like, I don't think lipsticks. Like I, I just don't. But I will say there is some that are very good and they're few and far in between in my opinion, but the L'Oreal Color Riche, these are really nice. I really do like this formula. I want them to come out with more nudes just because I'm a nude girl. And I do like their like grandma lipsticks. This is nude intense and new confident. Again, this is a L'Oreal Paris lipstick, very pretty. And the Maybelline lipsticks, their color sensational line is really nice as well. I do like Maybelline lipsticks. My favorite, however, have been these ultimate lipsticks. This is the one I'm actually going to apply today. This is in the shade more blonde. 
so pretty. I hope you guys can tell the formula. It's like a creamy matte. It's literally stunning. Like I'm literally obsessed. Like I love, 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 love this so much. And then for lip glosses, we'll do honorable mentions first because I do really love other lip glosses. The Maybelline Lip Lifters with Hyaluronic Acid. These are great. I, I really do like these. I think they're awesome. I also really like the Extreme Shine Lip Glosses from Essence. This one is one of my favorite shades. This one is in the shade Gold Dust. One of my absolute favorites. You pop this in the center of any lip combination. It looks stunning. But right now, hands down, for some reason, I've been obsessed with the Yummy CoverGirl lip glosses. I think it's one, the formula. Obviously, they're not sticky. They're very glidey, soft, delicious. And the scent makes them that much more special. I'm going to use Coconuts About You. It's like a milky nude pink. I love the applicator. I love a big doe foot applicator for a gloss and I just cannot get over that scent, the formula. Like I love it. It's so lightweight. Like that's so stunning to me. It is just such a pretty gloss. I love any of these. I, I do recommend all of these also. Like I think when it comes to drugstore, as, as weird as it might be, like I don't go for lipsticks at the drugstore, but I definitely go for lip glosses at the drugstore. As always, I'm going to leave everything linked down below on my howl, you guys. Go ahead and check out my howl. There's so many great stuff in there from past videos, just things that I've been loving. So please make sure to check it out. Everything's going to be linked there. I'm obsessed with the way my makeup turned out today. Officially, officially, officially done. You guys, I went ahead and just kind of like did my hair a little bit just to really complete the look for you guys. But this is a full face drugstore, a full face, my drugstore makeup favorites. Like these are the things that again, if you only had like a hundred bucks to spend and you're like, I need to make this last. I cannot spend this on one price one foundation and a sample at Sephora. I got you. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, at the other side of this token, I would love to know if you guys want me to do a favorites at Sephora, like what's actually worth my money. Like I have money to spend and I really want to treat myself to nice makeup, but I just want to know that if this is actually going to work type of video, like I can provide that also for you. Or if you're like just the favorites at Ulta, favorites from Sephora, favorites from influencers, I actually like really want to do a, like my favorite influencer makeup products so bad. Like I've done that before and they're my favorite videos to film because I just feel like they know what they're doing type of thing. Again, let me know because I would happily do that for you guys. But anyways, I promise you that that's what I was going to deliver and I delivered it. So boom, brush drop, mic drop. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.